Hey everyone, it's Tara. So um, today I wanted to do a little review of this Fuse tool. It's uh, by We Are Memory Keepers, and it's just the, the little tool that you can fuse plastic together or cut plastic apart. And uh, most everybody uses it to make shaker pockets and, um, you know, melt the plastic together for those pockets or just create your own unique pockets for if you're doing like Project Life al albums or anything like that. And I don't do Project Life, but uh, I do want to do shaker pockets, so that's why I bought this little this little guy. Um, the packaging comes with the tool itself, a little stand, and two nibs, one to fuse the plastic, that's this one here, and then another nib to cut plastic apart. And then it also has like the little ruler that you see, and um, I guess that's useful for cutting straight lines. And this is the tool that cuts plastic apart. So it's all pretty simple and those nibs are really easy to change um, out. So that's really nice to just screw on in. And then the instructions, um, I almost didn't find them, but they're just on the packaging itself. You open it up to find those instructions. Uh, the stand is absolutely useless. As you can see here, it just totally fell off my desk. Um, because of the cord placement, it just kind of keeps falling and moving and it's very annoying. But enough about that. Uh, to get started, you just heat up the tool for 10 minutes. You want to put your nib in first so that heats up along with it. Um, I started out just using this plastic that I had gotten. I just got it from a scrap store and it was just, um, I guess it was a harder plastic. So I wanted to test it out. I thought it might be cool to cut it up and make neato postcards out of it, like little shaker pocket postcards. Um, so I was really hoping that I could use the fuse tool for that. Before I even attempted to do that, I did just test it out on the plastic and it turned out that it didn't work. I guess this tool only um, can be used with a specific type of plastic, maybe a thinner plastic, um, the sleeves that you typically get for the Project Life albums or like the baseball card sleeves, um, that really thin flimsy plastic. This was a lot thicker, so I imagine that's why the tool didn't work. Um, I didn't really do a lot of research around it. I just had that plastic lying around, so that's why I tried it out. Um, but yeah, it just did not work, and I kept trying it and trying it. Maybe it wasn't, uh, I wasn't doing it correctly, but it really is just the plastic. And another little first impression I got from this is that that fuse ruler doesn't really lie flat. Um, I show it later on in the video, but it has like little feet on it, little plastic feet. So it doesn't um, just sit on the paper or the plastic. And that's kind of weird. And it's really kind of hard to move the tool in between the little line that's inside the ruler. And it just kind of seems easier to just not use the ruler at all and just go, um, just freestyle it, I guess. Um, but anyway, I had, do have a baseball card sleeve for pocket letters. So I decided to test the tool out on that plastic. Um, I have this little embellishment that I made here that I'm gonna, just going to put inside the plastic. I put double-sided tape on the back of it because it uh, kept moving around and I just wanted to keep it still and keep it in one place while I, while I played around with the fuse tool. Um, yeah, and so I did that. I did attempt to use the ruler here. Um, I went on the outside edge just because I, it's really, I just don't understand that inside, inside area at all. It doesn't move freely through it so it's just kind of annoying and so I'm using that outside edge of the ruler to make a straight line um, and yeah um, after I fused the plastic together I saw that it kind of ripped open at the top I don't know if it's because the embellishment itself was bulky and dimensional um, but it definitely did not it just ripped through the plastic so I imagine there's just a lot of uh, factors here. I may have fused it too close to the embellishment and because it was bulky, it just kind of ripped it. Um, I could have pushed down too hard while I was using the tool and maybe melted the plastic a little bit more than I should have. I don't quite know. It just didn't work and that's all I do know. Um, next up, I'm trying just a flat cardstock die cut and I'm hoping to get better results with that. And again, I'm using the ruler to fuse it. Um, I do like the idea of a ruler getting that straight line, but in practice, in, it just doesn't work. Um, the inside edge, like I said, the tool doesn't move freely through it. It gets kind of caught up or it's not touching the plastic um, because the little feet on the bottom of it that it doesn't lay flat against it. Um, and then if you do the outside edge, the tool kind of moves away from it. So you have to be really conscious of that and make sure that you're continually pushing against the edge of the ruler. It almost really just seems easier to do it freehand and, you know, hope for the best. And because of the size of the ruler, it's really hard to see where you're gonna 
start fusing the plastic, especially if you're using the inside area. Since the ruler isn't see-through, it's really hard to find um, the right places to fuse the plastic. It's just very cumbersome. <laughs> um, but yeah, that one, the, the flat cardstock seemed to work well. Um, it's hard to find the right pressure I find with this tool. I'm not really sure. Just the first time using it, it's not really easy. It's, it's not as easy as I thought it would be. I've watched a few people using the tool and they just kind of make it seem effortless and that has not been my experience so far. Um, and then, so after fusing the flat die cut here, I tried this little shaker pocket. And again, I had that same problem where the plastic ripped open and I really, I'm not really sure why, but it's very frustrating. Um, especially if you, if you want to do shaker pockets, which is kind of the main reason why I bought this tool. Um, if, if the plastic, it's not guaranteed that it's going to fuse it or it's going to rip open and then you just have glitter everywhere or it just, you know, your entire pocket comes apart and I just don't really want that. Um, so I tested it out a little bit more, you know, I'm just trying to use the ruler and kind of get a better feel for it and see if I can maybe get the, the pressure down and all of that jazz and just kind of doing a few lines here and there. Um, but again, I just don't think it's, um, it's just not as user friendly as I thought it was going to be. And I imagine it really just takes practice, but it just seems like such a waste for me if I'm not really sure certain, really certain how to use the tool. Um, and it's not a guaranteed result. Like it just really, it'd be really sucky to just waste a bunch of pocket letter sleeves, hoping that I get the right consistency for the fusing, I guess. I'm not really sure. And while I was just testing out the tool, I wanted to give that little um, bulky embellishment another go. Um, the second try, I had that same experience. I freehanded it and just it ripped open again. Um, and then this time, I am I think I, I made an effort to put the, the tool a little bit further away, have the embellishment a little bit more room. And I think that seemed to work a little bit better. So I guess um, it's just kind of, you know, just playing around with things and, you know, giving whatever you have enough room. Just that uh, sweet spot. I eventually gave up on the tool for this one because the embellishment is bulky and the tool doesn't sit flat on it. So it's just kind of useless there. And not only that, but because of the feet on the ruler, it like sticks to the plastic and is really hard to move around. And here's, here's where I'm showing you the little feet on the ruler. They're kind of like plasticky and sticky and weird and I imagine it's helpful to have it stick to the plastic but it's also kind of annoying. And while I don't think I'll ever use this tool for cutting plastic, I wanted to try it out just to see what it was like. Um, according to the instructions you want to put a piece of paper in between the plastic that you're cutting um, because I guess this work it would work the same way where if you didn't have that barrier this tool would just fuse the plastic to the other plastic. So I guess it's kind of a dual thingy. Um, but yeah, I just cut out a little piece of plastic and then I continued to play with the <laughs> the tool. Um, it was kind of fun just to stick this thing in the plastic and watch it melt around it. I don't know, it was really kind of satisfying to do. Um, the nibs are really easy to change out, as I mentioned. They just screw in and out. Um, obviously, you want to wait for the, the, the tool to cool. If you were using it prior, you don't want to put your hands on that unless you have some sort of uh, pliers or something that you can unscrew it with and not your 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 skin and burn yourself. Um, yeah, and then I just kind of used the, the ruler with this, this one. I wanted to test it out um, as a fuser rather than a cutter. Um, it's a little bit easier to use for the ruler because it has that fine tip. Um, so it fits real nicely inside that that guiding area inside the ruler. I wanted to give that plastic another go, the, the, the harder plastic, to see if this nib made a difference with it. Um, spoiler alert, it didn't. It's just, yeah, don't use that plastic. I don't know what it is. But yeah, this tool seemed to work pretty great as a fusing tool nib. Um, I really don't know what you would use it for cutting. I don't know what application that would be for. Maybe somebody who uses one of these tools often can shed some light on that because it really, I just have no clue what you need to cut open plastic for unless you're like opening a package. I'm not really sure. 
I think with more practice, this will be a handy little tool though. Overall, it's kind of a shrug. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed the review. Bye.